Well, hello, Cornerstone Alliance family. It's good to be with you on our fourth week. One of the things that I, in our short time here, have come to realize is that Wednesdays are hopping around here uh, at the church. A lot of things going on. We have our staff meetings on Wednesdays and the first Wednesday of the month we actually gathered together to eat together just to get to know one another better. There was a ukulele class that had 12 or 13 in it and that was just a lot of fun to check out. We're getting ready for Trunk or Treat, preparing for that. If you've not signed up for that, I want to encourage you to do that. We're going to do it in I think a, a good way. We've got a good plan for that to be socially distanced but if you want to sign up to either do a trunk or maybe to give some money to help with the candy uh, we would love to invite you into that and uh, maybe potentially even as we're on this video you may hear some music coming from the background the worship team here is practicing for Sunday the prayer a group that meets every Wednesday is praying tonight so just a lot of things going on. It's just exciting as we get to walk together into the fall and just see what God has for each of us. I, I want to read from 1 Peter chapter 1 verse 13. It says this, therefore, therefore, preparing your minds for action and being sober-minded, set your hope fully on the grace that will be brought to you at the revelation of Jesus Christ. This idea of preparing our minds for action, I, I love to step back and look at a verse and, and what the words mean and all that. So I, I uh, go to this place to kind of see what that is. And I want to read for you kind of what it says here uh, in the Greek, uh, the Greek breakdown. It says, therefore, having girded up the loins of the mind of you being sober minded, fully set your hope upon the being brought to you grace in the revelation of Jesus Christ. It's kind of a little bit disjointed, but that's kind of the flow. And, and as I read that, I thought to myself, I, I didn't know I had this loins of our mind. But the picture here of being ready, being prepared is in kind of that Hebrew culture where uh, pulling up of the tunic so that they could get ready and run and go. And then this being sober minded and, and this uh, preparing our minds is such an important thing for us. Uh, these loins of our mind, again, it's something that if we dig in deep, it it's, uh, has a lot of implications, but it's this idea of reproductive capacity of the renewed mind. As we're preparing for action, we have this, this reproductive capacity of our renewed mind as we are sober-minded. And, and when we see things like sober-minded, we kind of default to, well, they're talking about alcohol here and don't, don't have a bunch of extra alcohol or get drunk. And that's really not what's being said here. It's this uh, intoxication that often comes from our illusions. He's saying, be free from your illusions, the things that deceive you, the things that trip you up. And we've been talking about the fact that we all have those. He goes fully without wavering, this grace that's giving away a favor as the revealing of Christ takes place in you and around you and the people you're encountering. So I just want to challenge you as you're leaning into your journey with God this week, this idea of being free from illusion and I'm so thankful in my life and in your life that God does not show all of our illusions at once. If that were true, we would go and hide. But he has this beautiful way of peeling back these illusions so that we can be prepared and ready to walk with people so that they can see the amazing love and grace of Jesus Christ as it's being revealed. So I want to encourage you to just listen as he walks with you and shows you those areas of illusion in your life and in my life and as we're set free to be ready to walk with people in Christ. God bless you as you walk through this week.